Bound only by frozen What is going on guys welcome to back to uh, the installment of X Plane today sorry about yesterday guys I didn't um, I couldn't get the damn uh, weather thing to work but uh, today we got it working uh, I've actually I have installed X and file uninstalled X and file I've installed freaking believe it or not I've installed Skymax Pro uninstalled Skymax Pro I've done everything so now we're back with fucking ultra weather XP which I think looks the best out of all of them without the game performance hit but uh, anyways guys welcome back we're gonna take the 757 up to Toronto Pearson and then, uh, and then we'll probably fly the 727 back uh, to LGA, which is going to be fun because uh, you guys get to wa watch me set up for that flight because uh, I have n I have not even done any flight plan uh, stuff for that yet. So I get to you watch how I uh, do my flight planning and everything for VOR to VOR flight. So it's going to be a little bit boring. Yeah. But uh, anyways, uh, we got um, got a little bit a um, little bit of setting up to do in the 757 here, but uh, we basically got the uh, the star. Or the the SID in, uh, inputted, but uh, everything else we gotta still do. But uh, welcome to the stream, guys. We got classical cubing in here. We got uh, homie homie junior 17 vlogs. T storm 1986. Carson Brewer, what's up, man? Um, and we got sim aviation. Probably a few other people in here too, but they're just really really shy. I know my wife's probably watching too. So, anyways, let's uh, let's get into the pit here. Well, maybe if I can press the right button. There we go. Now we're in the pit. Um, so let's go ahead to the FMC, and, um, well, let me scare you guys. There we go. We're in red today. Mm. Uh, let's go to the FMC here. So we're doing the, uh, the Horto 3 departure here, and, uh, and then the J-Res transition. Uh, and then after that, well, let me see if I can get my little notepad thing here. Um, we're going to hop from a, uh, an airway. This is actually pretty easy. We're doing airway, so we'll do, um, Juliet 220. Where's the uh, thing here? I'll just use this. This is a lot easier. So Juliet 220, and then let's see here. We do S F was it S F K? And then Wozy. And then that will be the fix for the uh, the wing wing eight, I believe. So go to execute here. Go back to the index. Go to arrival. Wait, did I do it right? Hold on. Yeah, arrival. And then we'll do the uh, the wing eight here. And there's the Wolsey transition. There we go. Let's um let's get the weather real quick for CYYZ. Alright, winds are coming from the east, or, or they're landing east, I would say. So let's uh, let's look at the chart here real quick, and uh, let's see what's going on with that. If I could find it. Let's see what runway to plan here. Whoopsie. Uh oh. Alright, let's do... Let's see here. Six left. I think they did part zero fives, right? So yeah, we'll land uh we'll land six left. I think we could do that. So ILS six left and then the transition, Ulippy to the ILS there. 
execute that and then go back to our lage pigs. Uh, let's um, see. Make sure we don't have no discons here, which we do right here. We'll clear that out, execute that, and we got the lippy one. Clear that. All right, there we go. So now we'll go back into. I'll just close that out. We'll just do it this way. We'll go to uh, initial reference here. We'll do our takeoff. We got everything all all set up here. We got every all the passengers loading everything. So let's do this. We'll try and land with uh, let's see five thousand pounds of reserve here. Cruise altitude is going to be three two zero this flight, and uh, cost index fifty five. And then depart with flaps five. Actually, you know what? We should probably depart with flaps fifteen. Huh? Yeah, we'll do flaps fifteen, and then uh, oops. We do a D rate, 40 degrees. And then give us our V speeds here. There we go. So V2 is going to be uh, 139. Uh, we'll do plus 10, so 149. And trim's going to be 3.4. Cool, all that's all done. Let's go back to the uh, the legs page, actually, for the initial reference here. We'll just leave that on there. So let's do one. 49. L nav, V nav, and I don't think there's any ATC on. No, there's not. What's going on, Mac? What's up, man? Alright, sorry about that, chat. Um, fucking Jerry called me a pleb, bro. Why are you calling me a pleb? You recently started doing uh, aviation journalism on Instagram. Sweet. You have a lot, a lot of fun. Hey, as long as you have fun with it, right? Let's go on, Maxi. Welcome back. All right. <laughs> you have you have beer today. Oh, nice. All right. Let's uh, get this on here. All right. Let's uh, let's go ahead and fire up our APU. I think that's really the last thing we need to do. Let's go ahead and click that over to the start. And I think that's about it. We'll get the starters to the auto position here. Get our window heat. And I think get our trim air, recirculation fans, and we'll get our packs onto the auto position. Isolation valve. And we'll just wait for the APU to come online. And that should be that. Okay, I guess I'll just sip out of sip my coffee. What's going on, Electron? We're going to uh, YYZ today. I'm sorry, I don't have any. Uh, yeah, I don't have exactly where we're going in the title, do we? So we're going to uh, Toronto Pearson. Then we're going to LaGuardia, and then LaGuardia. I think um, I think I'll fly the A319 from LaGuardia to um, um, which we call it uh, Boston, and then from there I have no idea. That might it might be it. It might might have to do another flight depending on how these flights go. I have no idea. Shit, we might lose our pilot license. All right, 2200 on the uh, on the squawk, and then we'll turn the TARA on. All right, let's go ahead and run the hydraulic pumps here. We need to set up our trim. Yeah, don't do a bird strike. You never know, man. I think they took fucking birds out of the sim, unfortunately. Spiders. All right. So there's the APU. APU's on. We could probably go ahead and disconnect the uh, external power now. We'll get the APU bleed on. We got airflow now. Everybody get all nice and cool. And at this point in time, we'll probably go ahead and do ground handling here. We'll do drive away. Make them, make them all drive away. Berlin things they just look right wrong here there we go you hit two engine failures in four flights oh man 
That's not good. Might be pushing the engines a little bit too hard, man. Alright, cool. They're closing our doors. Had to use the air stairs because the, uh, you know, you know, the gates at, uh, the DCA here are broken. What's going on, uh, Ice Hacker? What's up, man? This is recently my uh, do-it-yourself track our LEDs have started uh, flashing, which makes it unusable. Do you know of uh, Do you know the case of this? No, I don't, man. I just use regular track IR, man. Um, if it's uh, if they're flashing, they might might have a power problem. Uh, they might have a, a clear connection. You know, they might not be uh, might not be receiving power or enough power. So these spiders, man, they're just resilient, man. Man. Anyways, yeah, I don't. I, I I wish I could help you, man. Um, yeah, I use XP Realistic Pro. Oh, yes, of course. All right. Oops. All right. So that's that. I think uh, all the doors are closed, right? Okay, let's go ahead and check. Um, there's our little iPad thing here. Go to ground, airplane. All the doors are closed. Awesome. All right, so uh, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, do, let's see, ground handling, we'll do hide all, and then we'll go ahead and quest our pushback. Pushback onto Kilo. All right, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Did you just buy XP Realistic Pro this morning? Nice, dude. It is. It's worth it, man. But really, the only pain he has to do is setting up all the airplanes, especially if you have a lot. But uh, you can set them up in groups. Like, you could just, like, uh, you could do most of the Boeings all together, and you could do most of the Airbuses all together. You only need one profile per. Unless you want to get really in depth and change, like, you know, change, like, certain sounds per individual aircraft, which I do every now and then, too, so. Let's run the electric hydraulic pumps here, and let's see, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Let's switch that to auto. That's about it. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and start our pushback. Great news, Captain! Your toes coming. What's going on, Alex Garcia? What's up, man? No, you bought the A330? Did you get the sound pack for it, too? How to explain uh, the, the Fly Live? Um, it's a program. You have to... Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty... It's pretty... Uh, I don't know. You have to read the instructions, man. It definitely comes with instructions, so if you can comprehend reading, I mean, you might be able to figure it out. Um, basically, the biggest pain in the ass is um, creating the text files or in... You know, All right, looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to that connect. Stuff up in OBS. Should do another A330 flight? I might, dude. I haven't flown the A330 in forever, man. I might have to do that. See, if we just finish off in Boston, I might have to just, you know, do uh, next flight on Tuesday or something. Might have to do a, um, a Boston uh, to, um, to Dublin or something like that. And the Aer Lingus. Across the pond, about six hour flight. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toast connected, bypass pens inserted. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. All right, I think we're ready. Everybody ready? I think we're ready. I don't know. This here and... Okay, got that. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Here comes the pushback. Light them up. All right, as he said, light them up. Let's go ahead and get the starter onto ground. Let's get the packs off, actually. So packs off, starter ground for number two.
through the line to get to the purple in the N2 there. Just a little bit past, there we go, we'll induce the fuel. Rudder pedals are nice, man. Captain MH, dude, I'm sorry to hear, dude. That is so sorry, dude. I don't, I don't have any words to express, man. Uh, my dip, deepest sympathy uh, goes out to you and your family. If that is true. What's going on, Vest? What's up, man? Welcome to the stream. That looks like a good start on number two. Let's go ahead and start number one. We'll get number two on to continuous here. Let's right, so induce the fuel for number one. Spin me out there. And it's going to as so fast as it is. And better push back, stop. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. Alright, let's go ahead and set our parking brake here. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. And we'll, we will ban you there at Captain Rage. Sorry. Sorry. Alright. Future reference, guys. You, uh, you claim that your uh, family members die. I don't want you coming in here and fucking, you know, doing crazy shit like that. Because, uh, you know, I do have friends that, uh, they have lost loved ones, and, uh, you know, so it's not a, uh, it's not a laughing matter, guys. Alright, so there's both engines. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and we're disconnected. You, Signal and pin on the left. Take it easy and have a safe flight. If you bleed off and packs back onto the auto position. There we go. Let's go, uh, flaps 15 here. Fix these up. Fucking ground here at fucking this airfield. It's super sticky. Oh, he's fucking. He's gone, bro. Don't fuck around like that. Probably can still watch. I think he just hiding him, right? He just can't can't talk. Let's take Fox right here. Let's try DCS, nice dude. How you like it? Approaching. 
zero four. Let's cross the runway here. Ah, uh, these engine sounds, yes, they are part of uh, flight factors. Gotta use a lot of engine right now to get even moving though, because of this fucking. I don't know. I don't know if uh, it was one of the X plane patches or. I don't think the air airport actually came like this, but you never know. It's got like a uh, a high high resistance uh, for the uh, the roll and everything. As you see, we're bumping around here. I think it's a problem with just uh, Drusecki scenery. It's really shitty. We're not even getting the air. Alright, we'll just hold short here. Wait for the, uh, a320 to take off there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I am using the beta, but I don't think it has anything to do with the beta. It, this has always been a long, a long time thing with uh, DCA. Uh, let's go ahead and take the active here. Looks like we're clear on the approach. Approaching zero one. On runway zero one. Shit, our, our tires might burst just like in uh, Poland a couple months back. Alrighty, let's get our clock here going. Clock, clock, clock. If I can find it somewhere, where is the clock on this thing? Just to confirm, we uh, make sure we are in flap 15. We gotta move down a little bit. So take off, go around power. Auto throttle armed. Alright, guys, here we go. Set. Hopefully we don't blow a tire. <laughs> 80 knots.
let's go ahead and get our autopilot turned on. There we go. I thought they said they fixed the smoke in beta. They made it worse. God damn it, Flight Factor. What's going on in the LT Hybrid game? What's up, man? Ladies and gentlemen, we are on our way to Toronto here soon now. Oops, that's what we use XC, huh? Yeah, I don't know, it's it's weird. This thing has more black smoke than the 727 we flew yesterday, even after crashing it. Gonna be doing a flight on Sunday? Probably not, man. I will be streaming Sunday. Hopefully, if we can get um, uh, if we get um, Steve to come in and do some um, carrier stuff with us, hopefully, I think that's maybe the plan. I have no idea, but uh, we'll do some uh, carrier practice Sunday. And if that falls through, then uh, we'll probably just play some DCS. All right, coming through 10,000 feet. Let's go ahead and get these lights on or off, I should say, and uh, let's see. What On Rocky Mountain Aviation, what's up, man? How you doing, uh, Suckle Nug? What's up, man? What's going on, Cage Cook? What's up? The V2? Uh, no, this is, well, this is, I don't know, is it considered V2? I don't think, it, I don't think it is. This is the, uh, the beta version of the, uh, 7.5. It's the extended pack, if that's what you're asking. Is for Canada, bro. Isn't Toronto in Canada? Mm. It's weird how that works, isn't it? Oh, that's right. All you guys are fucking French over there, huh? There's no Canada. It's fucking another, another France. What's going on, Brian Knight? What's up, man?
All right, coming through 18,000 feet. Let's go ahead and reset our, our altimeter 2992 here. want me to say my cunt, huh? Yeah, there, yeah, I said it, happy. LT Hybrid Gaming, man, I already said hi like a million times to you, bro. Where have you been at? I'm getting actually pretty crappy frame rates right now, and I have no idea why. Let's see. I don't think it would be this, would it? Why does this look like that? I think I gotta reinstall this shit. I got like different mixes of clouds from different things. <laughs> like I got like X and Bro, Skymax, and fucking and this shit all mixed in with each other. We're gonna be flying on Sunday, bro. We're probably gonna do some carrier stuff in the DCS, bro. Alright, homie, dude, I'll catch you around, dude. Thanks for coming in, bud. Play Infinite Flight? No, man, I do not. I have no need to play Infinite Flight. Got X Plane 11.
Right. You love the 757, the flying pencil, huh? I don't see it as the flying pencil. The 300, not the 200. I think it's, uh, yeah, it's a very, very sexy aircraft. Aren't you, uh, what? S Sawakon this year? No, I don't think so. I don't even know what the fuck that is, bro. That knows what? What about it? 757 though, is fucking beautiful, man. It's aerodynamic. Cloud problems apparently. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Not that way. It's like drawing like double clouds and, and shit. It looks really weird. It's not what it's supposed to look like. Alright, we reached our cruise altitude. We are now at 32,000 feet. Let's go ahead and go to the cruise page here and uh, let's go Mach point 8. Uh, let's do 8. Yeah, 8 1. See so if we can do that. Get a little bit faster here. A little bit of a little bit of a cry. I would say a headwind. We got more of a crosswind, but it will slow us down just by a little bit. You're leveled off to my left, huh? See, I don't know if I see you at all. Don't see you. See, I don't got labels on in in this either. Don't think I see you, anyways. Well, that's my right, huh? <laughs> Yeah, definitely don't see you either. Don't judge me. Um, definitely don't see you right now. All right, guys, top of descent uh, coming in, uh, let's see, a little bit past 80 miles here, so about 100 and 110 miles or so to the top of descent, so uh, relatively a quick flight, so let's see what happens. I will tell you that I'm either going to slam this thing into the ground or float it very, very far across the runway because we haven't flown this in a good, good month or two. Well, I would say a good month. Speed Bird UK says, suck on my balls, huh? Alright. I, I see ya. Alright. Fucking five-year-olds, man. Who lets these fucking people in here? You got one, uh, 155 with it? Oh, nice. Alright. Uh, that's Airways, my, uh, 
the 7.5. I, I just love this aircraft, but um, an X-plane, dude, I, I'm really, I'm falling for the 727 V3, man. It just, it's fucking amazing. I, like, I just love the way it flies, man. It really, it, uh, it flies, it flies just, like, it's one of the best flying aircraft. I'll just say that. What's going on, Steven? I'm Osmer. What's up, man? What's going on, Popcorn? What's up, dude? Glad you could make it back. My wife's on that Netflix right now, guys, so uh, the quality might drop a little bit because she doesn't give a fuck that I stream. I uh, thought about doing a video on equipment failure. Uh, no, man, I don't. I don't do like little videos, man. I just do live streams. If an equipment failure happens, then uh, then it happens on stream. It kind of did yesterday, but that was my fault. I actually I sneezed and dropped my gear. Uh, well, but um, yeah, that was fun. All right, Jay Benjamin, I'll catch you later, dude. Thanks for coming in, dude. We tried to. Um, we tried to drop the gear yesterday. Um, we had one landing gear uh, pop out, and then um, that's it. So we had one good gear, it was, uh, the right gear, the right rear, and uh, main gear. And um, we tried to uh, land it to DC with the 727. And um, I, uh, I touched down like you know 450 feet per minute. Tried to drop the other gear to maybe unlock it or something. I don't think there's a gravity release in that thing. I couldn't find it. If there was, I don't know. Maybe I should read the manual. But uh, that didn't work, so I don't think it's even modeled like that in x -Plane, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, we ended up landing yesterday with um, one main gear and the rest of the... Use the wingtip as the other, and the nose as the, uh, the front. So that was fun. Right, guys, I'll be right back. Gonna give you something to drink. So, uh, be, uh, be nice to each other, all right? That's all I ask. Right, I am back, guys. Sorry about that. Um, shit, my head's all fucked up and everything. Jeez. Uh, what's going on, Crap Fox? What's up, man? Uh, any thoughts on the 787 for X Plane? Uh, I was looking at it the other day, man. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't really. I don't have it, so I can't really give you a good, you know, thing. Sim Aviation says it's trash, so 
could very well be trad. Fucking everything up here today. What if that works? Nico J says it's really trash too, huh? Which one? Well, there's two of them, right? There's the Magnite and there's the other one. At least the guy, the guy that does the Magnite one, right? It's 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 being updated regularly, right? So it'll eventually get there, hopefully. And look at that Atis C Y Y Z Atis is online. Let's go um see what's see what he's got to say about the weather. Like I understand. Six left. Advise ATC you have information, Charlie. Toronto International Information Charlie Weather at 1700 zero, zero, Zulu Wind 090 zero, zero, at 5 Visibility 15 Few Clouds at 5018 Broken 26000 Broken Temperature 162.2 Altimeter 3030 zero, Approach ILS runway zero five. Departure runway zero six left. Advise ATC you have information Charlie. Toronto International All Information right. Charlie weather at one seven zero zero Zulu. Wind zero nine zero at five. Visibility one five. Few clouds. At five thousand eighteen thousand broken twenty six thousand broken temperature one six two point two altimeter three zero three zero approach ILS runway zero five all right so we'll be landing uh, runway zero five and not six left we'll be departing from six left uh, when we get there but uh, we'll be landing zero five as you uh, heard that and then uh, we just swapped our. Uh, Swapped our approach there, so on the FMC. So now we're all set up here. Uh, we'll make this left hand turn and then we will be in a hell of a fucking headwind. See so what, what we're doing right now, we're doing 475 over the ground. Um, that's going to drop to like four, probably 430 by the time we make this left hand turn coming up. Eco, your favorite uh, set the 7.6? Yeah, 7.6 is pretty good. I like the 7.5 too, but I mean, they're basically the same. So, what up, Crapbox? What's up, dude? Uh, says, uh, hey man, what's up? Uh, do you know when Exavira 1.10 is going to be released? I wish I did, man. I wish I did. I do not know. I can't wait. I mean, hopefully soon. But, um, yeah, it's probably not anytime soon. And if it is, well, it'll be a first for everything. Tell you the truth, I'm waiting on the MD-11 more than anything else this year, so... Electric Gaming coming in with a $4.99 donation, bro. Thanks so much, dude. Says, hey, I don't know what to say. Well, I know what to say. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that, man. Thanks for the support, buddy. Welcome to the night crew, I would say, right? Officially, the first class. Thanks so much, dude. I appreciate it, bud. Give you a float on. This is we're going to do that. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear.
Y'all really gonna hate me at the next flight. You guys are probably getting sick of seeing the 727, huh? What's going on, T Pack Cooper? What's up? Says, uh, hey, Knight, uh, please make a video on a 737 startup tutorial uh, for beginners. I got X Plane, but I don't know how to fly. Well, uh, I don't do tutorial videos, man. There's plenty of videos out there that does it. I think even Zebo actually has a tutorial um, for it himself. Um, it's actually really, it's it's really simple. It's really easy to follow. Uh, there's plenty of tutorials out there, man. Um, you can always watch myself, Captain Canada, probably Castrator on, you know, on on um, on Twitch or something like that. He, uh, I think he flies it too. So um, it's just like any, uh, it's 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 really simple to start, man. So um, yeah, I don't do I don't do tutorials, but. Um, if you just watch my streams or watch somebody else that streams too, you, uh, you'll definitely find out how to start it. It may not be the proper procedure every time, but um, it's relatively the same every time, so it'll at least get you in the air. Alright, top of descent coming in about another 44 miles or so. And uh, just as I said, the ground speed is uh, 432 over the ground here, so damn, that's a pretty good guesstimation. Oh, no, no problem, dude. Let's go ahead and reset our MCP here. Actually, you know what? Let's um, let's go to our charts. Uh, which one are we at here? We are this one. All right. Make our tablet a little bit bigger so you actually see what the hell I'm doing here. So we are doing. Let's see. This one. All right. Here we go. And we're coming from Wozy, which is right there. So eleven thousand. Okay, so we're going to be coming up over the uh, over the coast. All right, so we'll go down to three thousand feet. As that said. Let's go to our approach here, and we'll do 05 for the ILS. We need to find it. Somewhere. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah, we'll stay at 3,000 feet, uh, and then we'll intercept the glide slope. At 3,000, and then it'll be a uh, looks like a three degree all the way down. Cool. All right. So let's see here. Minimums is going to be 200 feet radio or radio. All right. Cool beans. This approach is 3,000 feet, and see left hand turn. Intercept the outbound YYZ VOR on the radial 013. Alright. That's already pre programmed in. So. Whoops. Oopsie again. Alright. Nico, you're about to fly the Zebo from uh, Austin to MSY to, to CLT, huh? Nice. Austin. Was that Austin? I don't know the other one. MSY. That's, um... What the hell is that? That's Louisiana, isn't it? And then to Charlotte. That's yeah, going on, Rufus. What's up, man? It's Chipotle again, dude. Why do you like Chipotle so much?
Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Fucking Electric Gaming coming with another $4.99 donation. Eh? Holy shit, bro. You're fucking amazing. We're not even in Canada yet, bro. Thanks so much, dude. Huge, uh, huge fucking float on for you. But oh, that's a cat. Whoops, I'll leave the cat there, too. Maybe he'll come and say hi later on. My pet. My co-pilot. Thanks so much, dude. I appreciate that, bud. Uh, Matthew, yes, I would highly recommend Track IR. It's not not necessary, but um, it, for immersion, um, if you can't afford a VR uh, headset, uh, then I would highly recommend Track IR for sure. But uh, I mean, it's like literally half price now for the, uh, well, a little bit less than half price for the, uh, you know, considered compared to a VR. It's like uh, I think Track IR Five is like 150 bucks, and I think it's like 170 with the Track Clip Pro, which I highly recommend. Which is the thing inside. Uh, on the side of my headset, the track's a lot better. You can't use it properly in X-Plane 11. Well, you should be able to. Uh, deep back, where do I live in the USA? I live in Ohio, bro. In Ohio. Um, so the trick, the trick with uh, Track IR and X-Plane is, um, yeah, it doesn't work very well natively. But uh, if you use uh, X camera, this is why I use X camera. Is, uh, it works very well with X camera. It overrides basically the uh, the tra uh, track IR setting, and we just uncheck track IR or head tracker or whatever in X plane, and you just use uh, use that, and it works way better. It's uh, totally 100% works better than um, the default. Because your TV is on your desk. Oh, well. You can actually put track IR somewhere else. If you have like, um, uh, let's say, like I got, I got my computer case right on to the left of me, so it's it's like on a elevated kind of, I would say, little little stand. So I can actually probably put the track IR on top of my, you know, on top of my computer, and it'll track. It doesn't have to be like directly in front of you, right? So I mean, it works best if it's directly in front of you. It's pretty loud. What's going on, Marco? What's up, man? I'm doing fine, dude. Doing fine. Got a little bit. Uh, I got something in my throat. I don't know what the fuck's in my throat, but um, got a little bit of cough. Apparently, I think my wife's getting me sick. It's good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Saw you come in yesterday. <laughs> Play it says no serial number, but the game says otherwise. <laughs> Jesus. Electro Gaming coming in with another $2 donation, man. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> that's, that's fucking nuts, bro. That's fucking nuts, dude. Man. Thank you so much, man. Thanks for the support, bud. <laughs> that's the last one I broke now. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry that I broke you. Uh, we should be starting our descent here really soon, guys. Coming in through the clouds. Uh, any DC yesterday? Um, maybe if I could finish early. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be. We might not be flying for very long, so. Uh, we'll do at least two more flights, and then maybe I'll take a break, you know, grab me something to eat, and then, uh, yeah, I probably, up, I might stream some DC yesterday. So, if you want to stick around for that. It might not start till a little li later here, so. It is Saturday, though. So, we could be up all night. Alright, let's um, get our spoilers a little bit here. Let's get woe down and start our descent guide. Yeah, the shadows, man, that, it's great, dude. That's like... 
it only works in um, it work. I mean, it only works well in in uh, ultra weather XP, dude. It's like the only only weather engine that actually works very, fairly well, and I don't understand it. Why it only works for that? All right, let's go ahead and let's see. I'm gonna tune back to the eight is here because I forget what's uh. Few clowns. Right. Five, Information thousand. Charlie and thirty thirty for the uh for that thing there. Let's set our altimeter guys for our descents. Let's see we'll do auto break one. <laughs> fucking Jesus. Electric gaming coming in with another four dollar donation, bro. You're fucking amazing. It says I'm broke after this one. Man. I'm sorry, bro. Thanks so much, man. You're Wind fucking shear. nuts. Wind shear. You're knocking futz. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that, bud. Let's see where we want. Oh, let's just switch our cameras to this side. There we go. 30 30. Fucking nuts, dude. All right, coming down through 26,000 now. Got to do something with these clouds. I might actually um I might actually do I might actually have to uh check our integrity of our game this weekend and try to fix these clouds. <laughs> Wait, I have one more dollar. Oh, man. You're nuts, bro. Hey, Tony O'Clock, what's up, man? It says, I tried to donate, but it's not showing me because of uh, where I'm from. Oh, don't worry, dude. It's the thought that counts. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Uh, we, uh, our tower is on 118.7. Electric gaming, bro. Two dollar donation, another one, man. You're you're fucking nuts, bro. You're officially broke. Are you sure, bro? Are you sure this time? Look, even if even if if you are broke, I'm sorry, dude. I am so sorry. But if you're not, just keep your money, bro. Keep your money. One day you might actually need it, man. I appreciate Wind it, bud. Windshear. Fucking nuts, Wind bro. Shear. Fucking nuts. Whoops. I didn't want that. There we go. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> it's done now. Oh, jeez. Uh, why not just click the spot where the captain's altimeter to change? What do you mean? That changes it back to that. You have to. You have to actually change it, like. Is there a click spot to actually automatically change it back? Yeah, it's only the only the click spot that does the um, the change it to a two nine nine two. All right, we want to do. Let's see here. We want to do star, and we are looking for landing eight zero five. There we go. Or the ling eight. And there we are descending on the ling eight. Right top, top right, really? Where the black one is, right? Oh, 
Oh, is that it right there? Hold on, let's try that. Let's see. No, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I see what that does now. Okay. So you tune the captain's one. And then you click this one. And it transfers it over. Alright, that's cool. I didn't know that. Fucking sweet. Yeah, I didn't know that. Nito. Oops. Wish I could get Ortho working over here. works somewhat right there and then it just stops so this is, this is all nasty oh well at least we got the coast yeah I'm gonna use this <laughs> oh jeez well well so much for ortho anyways can't barely see the ground all right we'll get back in the cockpit so we uh you know we don't die here Kinda curious if it's gonna put their speed restriction at that wing here. Nope, it didn't. Oops. That's the wrong one. Okay, so two five zero and there's no altitude there. That's not what we want either. That puts the speed restriction in. For some reason, the uh, the lean speed restriction is not in the FMC there. Might not even do it anyways. Might just do it manually. Alright, coming through 14,000, crossing lean here, and at our speed restrictor now, so that's a good thing. Gonna make that right hand turn. Yeah. It's ultra hazy down there. Is this thing gonna descend? I don't think it is, is it? Now 
There it goes. Alright. Okay, so now we're descending, guys, uh, again. Coming through uh, 13,000. And then uh, we got one more uh, pretty much uh, big turn here. We're going to make a 90-degree uh, turn uh, coming up here in about another, it looks like, uh, 20, 20 miles or so. And then I'll be, uh, that'll be the downwind. Go ahead and turn our traffic on. There we go. Damn cat. Oh, it cleared up. Yay. Now you guys are really talkative now. Not everybody speak at once. I have a little left hand kink here. Come, uh, we'll come left about 20 degrees, looks like, and then. Uh, our next turn is going to be uh, just over the coast here in about another, looks like, six miles. Return in base for a five. Nice. There's a tower on. You might have to contact them. Uh, his frequency is uh, 118.7. And we should be slowing down to 220 knots now. Oh, well, no, we're not. Never mind. Hold on. So, do 220. That's right. We're going to do this manually here. So 220 for the speed restriction, and then our next waypoint is going to be 210. I need to be at 4,500 feet to the next waypoint here, 210 knots. I'll just go ahead and slow down to 210, and there goes the uh, the visibility. Alright, we'll be descending through 10,000 feet. Let's go ahead and get our lights. Let's go on, Michael Z. What's up, dude? He's a rebel. <laughs> I think we're gonna make that restriction. And we need to tune our ILS frequency. So let's go to our initial reference here. So it's going to be 109.70, and the course is going to be 057. We go flaps 30 for landing, 128 for reference. So let's see, 109.70. And 057. There we go. What's going on, William Lacombe? What's up, man?
Yeah, I don't think we need wheel. We don't need spoilers. We're at 210 knots. Well, the chart says 4,500 and this is 3,000, so I don't know. The uh, FMC is doing its own thing, apparently. So let's go ahead and uh, get our approach plate up, though. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Alright, let's do takeoff, go around power. What's going on, Pratt BT6? What's up, dude? Welcome back, dude. About another five more miles or so, we'll be uh, making a right hand turn. Uh, basically, our base. Be making right base into a uh, pretty decently lengthy final here. So, let's see what is this. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be like a almost a almost like a, a 20 mile final. Here's our right hand turn. Pratt BT6 coming in with a two dollar Canadian donation. Squeaker! Nah, I'm just fucking with you. So it's always, always good to see you flying, sir. Thanks so much, man. Continue approach number one. Traffic will be crossing. Reduce your minimum approach speed. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Continue approach. Reduce minimum approach speed. Air Canada 3450. Uh, thanks so much, Pratt BT6. Uh, I appreciate the the two dollar Canadian donation, my friend. There you go, float on, my friend. <laughs> he's a proper squeaker. Don't get offended if we call you a squeaker, bro. I know he's in here. He's watching us. When you get older, your balls will drop, and you'll have a deep voice. Hopefully. <laughs> What's going on, Sky, Engine, Skywatcher 47? What's up, man? Alright, let's get younger by the day. Hey, sure. Alright, we should be coming in on the chai here soon. Gonna maintain 210 knots here for a bit. Ew, the Jar 320, nasty. It's acting properly. It must be broken if it's acting properly. There we go. We got our little, our little pink diamond, or not diamond, but triangle, showing where we're at. <laughs> I look like Colt Ford. Who fucks Colt Ford? I don't know. That. Who idea who that is? Your port roast exploded. Oh man. <laughs> All the smoke detector still works. Oh Jesus. That's not good. You should probably, uh, yeah, you should probably definitely go fix that, bro. 
Yeah, the Flight Factor uh, 320 is uh, kind of expensive. Yes, I agree. All right, let's go ahead and go to the look here, since we got the localizer is alive here. So, go ahead and click the localizer button. All right, let's go ahead and slow down to 190 on the speed. And uh, Toronto Tower, uh, Delta 3122 on the uh, approach for uh, 05 with Charlie. Delta Vector 122, Toronto Tower, good evening. Speed 160, great turn to Uh, Roger, Cylinder 160 for uh, Delta 3122. Delta Vector 122, number 2, following uh, Boeing 737. Uh, Roger, copy number two for uh, Delta 3122. Let's get our flaps. Go ahead and hit the approach button. Get our feet on the pedals here. Flaps 15 and gear down. She just greased it. Oh, nice. Right, let's get our auto throttles to the off position. Echo number 3450, welcome to Toronto. Taxi straight ahead to Hotel, right on Alpha. Alpha Juliet, to at your discretion. Cross away, one five left. Echo number 3450, taxi straight ahead on Hotel. Cross from a one five left, then right on Alpha, left Alpha Kilo, ramp at your discretion. Hotel, cross from a one five left, Alpha, Alpha Kilo, ramp at our discretion, air Canada 3450. Delta 3122, wind 0905, clear to land, runway 05. Alright, to clear land, uh, 05. 1000. My aircraft's ours, guys. Approaching zero five. Man, this thing seems really, really twitchy.
all these reversers. I don't think the reversers want to work. Ah, fuck, auto brakes working anyways. Five thousand feet remaining. Yeah, reversers don't want to work today, apparently. That's not good, because we might need those. Alright, let's clean up a little bit here, guys. Yeah, it's a little bit of a float. I wouldn't say a little bit. It's a lot of bit of a float, to tell you the truth. Alright, let's go ahead and get our APU here started. Welcome to Fertile 122, welcome to Toronto, straight to the hotel, right Alpha, Alpha Juliet, from B on discretion, cross from A15 left. Uh, sir, could you say that again? You came up broken and barely readable for uh, Delta 3122. Delta 3122, cross from A15 left. Hotel taxi right Alpha Alpha Juliet ramp at your discretion. Roger, uh, cross one way one five left Alpha Alpha Juliet and uh, the gates are discretion for Delta three one two two. Gotta figure out where we're at here. This is hotel, not Alpha. Uh, am I going to use the 727? Yes, we will be using the 727 next. Uh, you guys get to see how uh, how I set up the, um, I guess, the flight planning aspect of that thing too. So approaching one five left. And I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Let's go on LB transport. What's up, man? And let's go ahead and get our landing lights off here. Leave our nose lights on. All right, this is Bravo. We'll be making a uh, right on the next one. Get our flight directors turned off there. And disarm our auto brakes. We'll turn them off. Good afternoon, Air Canada, 115 Brigade, uh, Delta 42, information is requesting effort to thank you for your smile. Air Canada, 115 Toronto Tower, good morning, you're called to Vancouver, uh, via the Ursul 3, correction, Ursul 3 departure, haste transition, flight plans route, departure on May 06 West, score 5501. What's going on, Ramin HD? What's up, man? Welcome, Here, welcome to the stream, bud. Okay, we'll swap one one five three back. Correct. This is your single taxi. Taxi. Okay, Man, these pedals are just so fucking buttery smooth, man. It's crazy. Thank you for the ATC. Have a great rest of your afternoon. 
What's going on, Radioactive Boss? What's up, man? We are just now taxiing. We just landed here. We'll watch the replay. Uh, we'll taxi in. We got another another taxiway after this. We'll be turning left on the next taxiway to Alpha Juliet and then to the gate. And then um, and then we'll be uh, watch the replay and then we'll hop into the 727. We'll be uh, view R to view R in the 727 to LaGuardia. So um, I'm hoping... I'm hoping we uh, we get the ATC online for New York and everything like that. That'd be pretty badass if he does. That way we could give him shit because we're not going to be using, you know, we're not going to be using um, GPS and shit. So we're probably going to make an ass of ourselves if actually he does that. So, you know, what? it'd probably be better if he stays offline. But, um, yeah. So, anyways, we still got to, I got to plan that flight and uh, write everything down. So you guys get to watch me do that. And here's, uh, here's Alpha Juliet here. We'll make a left-hand turn here. To the gate. Well, this fuel truck wants to like. Race me? What the fuck? All right, let's tune here. Bravo twenty. Uh, the auto gates don't work here. Well, that needs fixed. Now we just gotta guesstimate. Ah, uh, guess right there, maybe? Alright, let's go ahead and shut our engines off here. I don't think we guesstimated right. No, we did not. No, we needed to go a little more, apparently. Or we went too far, one of the two. Anyways, guys, welcome to Toronto Pearson. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that flight. We'll uh, we'll watch the replay here, get disconnected, and uh, we'll disconnect it first from Vasim, watch the replay, and then uh, yeah, we'll get uh, get set up for the the next flight uh, in the 727. We will be flying Air Canada, by the way. You get a heavy FPS here. I, I so do I, man. I'm getting like 30 FPS. It's not it's not like smooth smooth, but it's um it's it's manageable for sure. But uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let's go uh, go ahead and disconnect here, and bam, toggle our replay. Get to see our float tastical landing. Well, oh, geez. Let's see here. Let that do its thing real quick. Why doesn't this one work? There it goes. All right. Oh, that's loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Um, let's see if you don't need the tablet. Man, this thing just floated. Oh yeah, fucking floated good. Oh, 
They still didn't fix the flaps. And uh, we have problems with the reverse thrust too. That didn't deploy. Could you do call outs though, no, man? Yeah, a little bit of a flow there, Mac. It's not like we overflared though, right? I mean, we, we caught it, we just caught it a little too early. This thing has a tendency to float. You just ordered your more professionally built track IR? Oh boy. A country butter. He <laughs> lotion and tissues after that. Oh god. I don't even want to start thinking about that. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, see if we can get the call outs here. Watch it from uh, the dash here. And then uh, we'll um, see here. Kind of get. This here, and we'll plan. Thanks for min HD, man. Appreciate that, bud. It was all right. It was smooth, for sure. I don't think the callouts are working. Yeah, they may not work in the replay. I thought they used to, though. Yeah, we at least landed in the marks, right? On the center line, too. Didn't even need reverse thrust.
Alright guys, let's get set up for the next flight here. Let's see, we'll toggle our replay, jump back to the gate there. Go flight configuration, and we will be using the 727 again here. Let's see. Gate, let's do, yeah, gate Charlie 24, that's, that's where they park too, I think, right? For Air Canada. All right, waiting on fly live here. Update the top for you. And there it goes. All right, 309 miles is a very short hop. Okay, so we're gonna do this in the uh, 727 here. Take a look at this bad boy. Oh, jeez. How you like that shit, all you Canadians out there? Exactly. All right, let's um bring in, let's see here, display capture. And got to do this. Gotta put this above. There we go. Now you get to see what I do. So okay, so this is our flight plan as it is, right? So from point A to point B, and then we got to find. Uh, we got to open up our charts here, and then we want to uh, see. We do SIDS, and we're looking for. Let's see. Let's check this out. We got to. So we got to find a SID. That's gonna, so that's going down to the southeast or southwest, so we can't do that one. Can't do RNAV. That's going to the northwest. And that's going down that way. Oops. So this is, this is like the biggest pain in the ass of uh, doing that. That's going to the, okay, so we're getting there. just need to find one that goes to the same place we're going to be going. We might be able to do this one. Looks like that's almost over, almost over Lake Erie. We'll keep that one in mind. So that one's going back to the north. Back to the west. So this is the bad thing about flight planning, guys. You just gotta, it's all trial and error. You just gotta look at all the charts. We could do the Kepta, but we can't, it's really, I think it's RNAV, isn't it not? It's crazy. Alright, which one are we going to do here? I think it's this one. Nope. Alright, so we'll do the... There's some two here. So, um... Looks like... Let's see if we can do this. Let's see, how's this spelled here? Windshear. Crazy killer Windshear. clown, bro! Windshear. You're insane, bro. I hate flight planning, personally. I do too, man. It really sucks. Alright, so uh, we'll do the do some uh, the do some two departure here, and uh, we're just looking over this. So let's bring out our notebook here, because this is this is the part that's really, really oh, stupid. Let's see here. I need that web page back over. And we will have to write down these VORs, frequencies, and and all that good shit. All right, so we'll write down. Let's see where my where did I just put my pen. Jesus. All right, so we'll write down Toronto VOR. So it's one one two, uh, fifteen here. So we'll do uh, 
YYZ. And it's uh, 112.15. And it looks like, um, let's see here. Let's see if we can't go direct to um, PSB. Need to write that down. And it is 115.5. Actually, is there just a regular YYZ departure for Sid? Toronto 3 departure. Yes, there is. Okay, we'll just do that. Okay, so that's our departure. Toronto 3 departure. We'll go direct to PSB because that works out. So, um, let's see, we need to get... Let's see here. TRNT03, we gotta remember that here. I don't know if I'll be able to remember that. Oh, the back button here, and we'll go edit here. And then let's see here, we'll do PSB. Verify that, we'll save that. And then there we go. From there, I guess we'll get uh, VOR. This might actually work. Okay, so we'll open our charts for New York here, and then we'll see our star and see if we can't um, come up on... I think this is RNAV2, isn't it? The harp? There's a lot of, a lot of shit here. Let's see what we got. That's from the south. I think the harp is probably our best choice. Actually, this one might work here. Let's see. Um, let's see what the uh, weather's doing. Don't need maps. What do you mean? All right, so weather is shit, light rain. Okay, winds are zero four zero for eleven. So um, yeah, this actually will be perfect here. So I need to find out which one's closer here. Oh, there's PSB. That's fucking perfect. So we're gonna be direct to PSB, uh, and then we'll uh, let's see here. We'll write down Milton, and that's gonna be one hundred nine point two. And we need to depart PSB on a radial, uh, C2, is that 273? Yeah, radial 273. And we need to depart MIP here on 117. Is that right? No. Yeah. All right, then we'll uh, do uh, FJC. I love flight planning, guys. Radial 298. Let's see if we could do this here. Alright, so after FJS or FJC here, we're going to depart that on a, a 295. We're going to track the uh, SPJ, which is Solberg there. So we'll do. We're just not, we're not going to follow this to the T here. Um, just make it easier on ourselves. So we'll, we'll do uh, SPJ. And that's a 112.9er on a 295 radial. 
And then from there, I think we can... Let's see, we'll try... We'll try and track, let's see, Colt's neck here, 115. making this way over complicated just go west you'll find it huh <laughs> exactly right uh so we'll track uh we'll track colt's neck um on a 303 radial here so there's a reason i'm writing all this down because you know i don't want to look at these charts all the time so i'll just write these down for a quick reference i just look at it and then i'll go out and do that so we're not going to be on the radial 303 for very long so we just need to track the colt um, until, uh, DME, was it, DME 18.8 looks like, and then, uh, we'll make a left-hand turn and track, uh, Kennedy. And Kennedy's gonna be on 115.9. And we'll track uh, we'll track Kennedy um, on a 263 radial. Is that right? Yeah, 263 radial uh, until 14. Actually, no, until yeah, until 14 DME. And then we'll track La LaGuardia, which is going to be 113.1. And then we'll make, uh, we'll track LaGuardia from 14 DME, uh, we'll track LaGuardia, that should give us 16 DME from LaGuardia. And then, uh, I guess we'll track that down, all the way down to the airfield. So we'll be landing on 04, it looks like it's gonna be a straight in on 04, so that, uh, works out, I guess, for us. So let's see, that's gonna be a radial, uh, 225. On a 045 degree heading. And that's it. All right. Fucking flight planning, man. I hate it. <laughs> so that's that. Let's go back here. Go edit this here. So after PSB here, I think we could probably just go, just put in our star, right? Hold on. X out of this. That was the, that was the harp, right? No, that was the knobby. Oh, the Milton. So that's going to be uh, the Milton 4, so it's going to be uh, MIP 4. I think. Yeah, that's how it's done. Alright. There we go. Save that. And the reason why this is dotted line, guys, oh jeez, the reason why this is dotted line is because this is basically, that's the SID, and that's the star, right? There's really only one transition, and that's going to be PSB, so. Uh, call sign's going to be Air Canada 3122. And, uh, yeah, that's 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 how you do it, so that's what I do. It's uh, it's a pain in the ass. This one actually worked out pretty easily, uh, but um, if, if it's a longer flight, you just, you know, you you look at the, like, save from here, you just look at the VOR, and... The good handy tool for this is you can just click on it, and uh, actually, that wow, that's actually pretty close to where I live, believe it or not. Anyways, uh, so you just track the radio. There's there's the VR DME, and then the power is right there. So you can tell by the power on the VOR if it's 25 watts, you're only going to pick it out like 80 miles away, no further really. Uh, and then on a VOR that's like 2,000 watts, it's gonna you're going to pick it up from like 100 and 150 miles plus. Uh, so. Anyways, you just follow, you could basically just follow the jetway, and you see little VORs and, and stuff like that uh, throughout the, uh, you know, the, the airway. And you can just go VOR to VOR like that, and it's pretty much easy. Uh, it's that easy. It really is. It's, um, obviously it's easier to just do it, use the program on, uh, was it, um, uh, Simbrief, but you really can't do, there's no option for VOR to VOR on Simbrief. Um, it does intersections and shit like that, so. Alright, so we got all of our, um, all that shit done. We'll just move this over here. And, uh, that's, that will be that. And let's go ahead. 
kill our display capture there for that. All right. Now that I made everybody leave, I, I'm guaranteed I did. So uh, at this point in time, go ahead into our aircraft here and we will get our ground power. Get back to this, we'll get our ground power on, get our battery, and let's see here. I think um, we're going to be cruising at, let's do 20, 27,000, seems alright for me. And yeah, I think that's about it. Get our boost pumps on. Alright guys, that's, you know, I hope you guys, do I use Project Fly? No man, I use, uh, I just use Fly Live, um, but, uh, I hope you guys understood a little bit of that, how to do the, the little bit of a planning, that's how I do it, um, it's usually, you know, that flight actually, as short as it is, that's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff here, so it's gonna be a little bit complicated, but, um, we should be able to manage, if I could read my fucking handwriting, because I just wrote it down really sloppy. It's RMR stuff there. Let's get our window heats on. The good thing about whoops, the good thing about VR to VOR and not having an FMC is it's very easy to set up the aircraft. So basically once you have power like this, you know, it's pretty much all done. Uh, let's go ahead and connect to our uh, squawk box here. And uh, let's go ahead and send our flight plan. See if we can remember. What's going on, Iran? What's up, man? Just have to come in and say, uh, so you can tell where, uh, where we are going today. I fucking read that wrong, did I? I did. Uh, departure runway is going to be, uh, zero 06 left, as, uh, what the ADA said. Um, let's go to our flights here on this. That changed. I see a 369 continue on hotel, then taxi right house, uh, Alpha Juliet, to run for your discretion, cross to runway 15 left. And we will select. Roger, continue hotel, uh, turn left onto Alpha, Alpha Juliet, to the airframe crossing 15 left, West Jet 369. One more second here, guys. There we go. The flight plan has been changed in the uh, night bot, too. So okay, if you want to know... One five, contact approach, one three two, does not wait, have your flight. Oh, this is a proton. Oh, snap. We're at the pressure on one, one uh, three three, or set at one one five, uh, okay. Let's get, uh, approach tuned in here, so... 132.8. Alright. Let's go to our settings here, and I don't know if it's saved. Let's see here. Go to controls. Let's see, where's our yoke? Yeah. We don't want another incident like yesterday. Alright. Uh, 
What's going on, Wuzzle Man? What's up, man? Uh, let's get our altimeter. Actually, altimeter's already set here. Let's get our backup altimeter here. So 30-30. Good afternoon, that Canada. Take five six for the Yorker on the north side. Looking for a fire clearance. So if you coming, then please we have a information. All right, we'll go ahead and tune uh, our first VOR here. So go nav one. Yeah, Canada six six. You're clear to your destination via the Mexit five departure. Entry transition flight plans route. Departure runway zero six left. Squawk five five one three. Five five one three with it as far for Covington and uh, requesting a zero five uh, for departure, please. All right. Uh, Canada eight two six or two zero five will be departure on the way. Asking us the same. Thank you, uh, runway five, and we'll call you ready for taxi here, Canada eight five six. All right, we got our VORs tuned in now. So we're the date Air Canada three five Foxtrot. Air Canada 35 Fox Rock Trot to tell us a message. We did say looking for an IFR for in Minneapolis. We have information built that I'm requesting runway 05 for departure. Alright, we're not picking up the other VOR from here yet, so that's fine. Air Canada 35 Fox Rock, you're clear to Minneapolis for the Earth 3 departure. Zohan transition, right plan route. Just said it's a keyless sunrise, so snap. Walk 5530. Right, you're clear to Minneapolis via the result. We hit the hand in transition. Runway 05, uh, Squawk 55. 5520, Canada 35 Foxtrot. Canada 35 Foxtrot, confirm that score was 5530. Shadow Shield Terrace, nice dude. Air Canada 35 back, correct. Push your discretion, call for taxi. Call for taxi, 35 Foxtrot. Got download charts for the Guardia on the pad here. Uh, Toronto Tower, uh, Air Canada 312, Type 727, Gate Charlie 24, IFR clearance to uh, LaGuardia. Air Canada 3122, you're clear to LaGuardia via the 23 departure. Or, correction, 23 departure, flight plans route. From a 06 left to departure, squawk 5521. Roger, Air Canada 3122 is cleared to uh, LaGuardia as filed on uh, the Toronto 3 departure, Squawk 5521. Air Canada 3122, read back, correct, push your discretion, call for taxi. Alright, let's, uh, let's go Squawk code here. 5521. Go. Five five two one. We are transmitting. All right. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> no boy. I wish this would stop doing that. All right. All right, so I think we're all good here. We're all ready, ready for our pushback. We got our clearance, and um, it's all right. Canada eight five six, we're ready for taxi. Let's look at our Toronto charts here and see what our top altitude is going to be because I didn't hear an altitude from him. And Canada eight fifty six, runway zero five, altitude is three zero two eight. Taxi via Juliet. Cross from me one five left, I'll drop from me zero six left. Correction at zero five. Okay, Juliet, uh, cross uh, one five and hold short six. Uh, six uh, left. Five, five, six. All right, let's see here. Minimum climb gradients uh, 
per hundred per nautical nm to 2700 feet. Where's our top? Transition altitude 18,000, so runway 0506 left and runway 2324 blah departures blah. Alright, simultaneous parallel departures in use. Uh, see, safe altitude within 100 nautical miles is 4,900 feet. We don't really need that. Let's see. Alright, so 06 left. Climb heading 057 or assigned heading for vectors to assigned routes. Uh, jet aircraft maintain 5,000. Uh, so there's our top altitude is going to be 5,000 feet. There we go. So hopefully it gives us clear direct to uh, PB, PB was it, PSB? Sorry. We, hopefully we pick it up. We don't know if we're going to pick it up here. So I think it's going to be roughly a uh, 160 heading. But uh, all right, I think uh, we're all ready to go here. Let's go ahead and get our APU fired up here. Hold that for three seconds. There we go, three seconds. And uh, I'll just double check here, make sure we got everything situated. Actually, you know what? We probably need to do our payload and stuff, right? Bruce Wayne, total fuel 25,000, a little bit too much there. Take a little bit of cargo. Yeah, way more than enough fuel, so this will be fine. Let's go on Epic Gaming Plays. What's up, man? Let's check there. Alright, APU looks like it started and its temperature is idling around. Yeah, it's about 350 degrees here. Let's go ahead and trip. Or close the, uh, the circuit there. We are definitely on uh, the power now for the APU here. Let's go APU. There we go. Let's go ahead and disconnect our ground power. There we go. And uh, let's go ahead and call our pushback. Where's our little thing at? Hey, Captain, let me know where you want this thing. Captain, your toe's coming. What plane is, uh, we're gonna be flying the 727 here. I love this plane, man. It's great. Power Air Canada 742, requesting IFR clearance to LaGuardia as filed. Air Canada 1714, you cleared through LaGuardia via the Toronto Street departure. Right plane route, departure runway 06 left. Squawk 5531. Thank you, Lagordia, by the Toronto 2 departure. Then I've filed runways, your sixth left for departure. Oh, Squawk 553. Five, 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 no, the game crashed. God damn it. Why does it do this to me? No, what's going on? Is it not crashing? Oh, I think it did crash. Don't do this to me. 
Well, luckily it doesn't take that long to set this fucking puppy up, huh? Just waiting on to crap. To crash out here. Crap out. One of the two. Whatever's gonna happen first here. Alright, we gotta kill Steam. Yeah, because it still says we're playing X Plane. Poop. Alright. Well, it wouldn't be X Plane if it didn't crash at least once a day, right? It's all good. We weren't that far into it, right? Don't have to program FMCs or anything, so... It should have kept all our frequencies in the uh, radio also, so... Not really gonna worry about it. You have an idea for a future flight? Alright. Uh, I can hear your idea. Don't know if we're going to get around to it. Think I should play other music? I wish I could, man. I have to play non-copyright music, dude, and there's not really, you know, any really good music for that, unfortunately. We should get put at the same spot here. KDFW to kelp, huh? I have no idea where kelp's at. I'm trying to, bro. Trying to. Oh, El Paso. Or JFK to STI, I had no idea. Where, is that STI or STL? I can't read it. This game does not like. What is going on with the. Oh, Jesus. Network beacon initialized fell. What the fuck? Okay, so now we're gonna have the same problem as we did yesterday, aren't we? You gotta be kidding me. I need better internet. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What is it? Arrow, what? I have no idea where the fuck that's at, bro. I don't know, man. I just don't know, dude. I don't know what's going on. I guess it might be the music. Fuck it. Let's kill the music. Alright, let's see what happens here. If I can't, uh... Yeah, the network. If I can't get the damn game to, you know, connect to the other program, that's going to be a problem. Let's see here. Still says I'm playing X-Plane, which I'm not. Okay. Let's 
go fly live. Let's see here. And it's also quiet. No, he said, oh, hey, not why? Well, you typed why, not hey, bro. <laughs> What's up, bro? All right. Let's try uh, explain again. And where's our weather engine? This is the same problem that we had last uh, yesterday too. Uh, the game like it, it crashed and then it um, it couldn't connect like locally to the actual internet for some reason. I don't understand why. Right. Fingers crossed. If it doesn't work, then I guess we'll have to use the uh, the in-house weather engine. Ew, nasty. We'll see how that works out. Yeah, it's still not working. What the fuck is this networking beacon initialization shit, man? It's garbage. Come on, let's see if we can... Fucking network shit. Hmm, weird. I wonder if it'll, uh... Whoops, I wonder if it'll download the weather for us, too. It may or may not. Things might be get a little bit tricky here. Thirty twenty eight. Apply changes. Alright, well, I guess, um, I guess we'll roll with that, huh? Let's see if we can actually, is it going to let us connect the squawk box? And let's do... Let's see here. Fucking spoilers, you piece of shit. Trying to. I had a brain fart, guys. Sorry. Alright. Anyways, um. Squawk box. Oh, shit. I need to do that. And let's see, we need tower, right? Okay, we're on tower now. All right, let's try this again. Sorry, guys. Let's get um, fly live up. Fly live might not work. It may or may not. I don't know. 
Looks like it's going to. Yeah, it's very windy. Alright, did it give us... No, it didn't. Got the same amount of fuel. And let's go ahead and to... Oh, that's still doing its thing. Get a GPU on here. Actually, we don't need a GPU. Just go ahead and fire up the APU. Alright. Head to the back panel here. Let's get the battery switch. And let's go ahead. Let's um, get our fuel pumps. Super quiet without music. Alright, let's go ahead and start our APU. Hold it for three seconds. Let's try this again. There we go. Alright, let's set this up again. And I forget what our squat code was. What was it? Uh, 5521. There we go. And let's get our pedo heat, or not a pedo heat, but our window heat's on. To our tests. APU is still starting. In-house weather is not too bad. Well, I guess we'll find out. Wait for the uh, temperature to stabilize here. There we go. And we got power now. So we're on ground... Not ground power, but um, APU. And let's go ahead and get our galleys. And I think that's about it. Let's get a radio check here. Well, maybe. Tune our radios. So one thing we gotta do, so 115.5 for that. Nav 2. And we need 109.2 on the other... Oh, jeez, it crashed again, didn't it? What is going on? Why is my game crashing every two seconds? I really like to know what's going on here. Alright. There's something definitely going on. I'm gonna have to restart the PC. Let's go. Let's see what's what's crashing. Hmm, weird. Doesn't really say anything. The last thing in here is, uh, see, JD diagnostic ground handling bullshit. Alright. No, I don't think it, no, it's not the... Yeah, it's not that. Guys, I'm gonna restart the PC real quick, so, uh, heads up, guys, I'm, uh, I'll be right back. I guess this is about the only way I'm gonna get it to work, so, uh, give me about ten minutes or so.